Welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Alex Lord. Jim Harbaugh in Michigan finally cracked the hump or got over the hump that was the Ohio State Buckeyes. They've beaten them back-to-back years, earned spots in the playoffs, lost in the semifinals both times, once to Georgia, which wasn't a close game, lost in a close game to TCU in an upset in a game that they probably shouldn't have lost. They were, they were the better team. They just made mistake after mistake multiple pick sixes fumbling at the goal line had like four they I think four times they didn't score inside the 20 yard line so Michigan's a program on the rise I I don't think anybody can doubt that uh they got the Wake Forest quarterback correct or yeah they got the Wake Forest quarterback transfer I believe Sam Hartman yeah Yeah, Sam Hartman so they're a quarterback I mean they look like a team that is a college football perennial college football playoff contender but they now have a new slogan which is simply beat Georgia it's no longer beat Ohio State it is beat Georgia the back-to-back national champions what are your thoughts on that because obviously Georgia they might not even play Georgia who knows if Georgia wins the SEC they're the class of football right now um so they're they're clearly just trying to make them the pinnacle and say that but I mean who knows Bama could win LSU could win who knows who's going to come out of the SEC what are your thoughts on, on just strictly like hey our focus is Georgia our focus is on be, being the best. Is that is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? What are your thoughts? Uh, I don't know if it's good or bad. I think it's embarrassing. I think it's pretty, you know, little brother, if you want to call it something. Uh, to go ahead, I, I want to say something else about Alabama. I'll first address this and just say that Michigan – I mean, I know they beat Ohio State in back-to-back years, and Ryan Day doesn't look like he's quite that Urban Meyer head coach you better worry about Ohio State. I mean, they're still recruiting at a high level. Uh, They're still a great program, top five program in the country, I I think. And though they haven't been in the college football playoff until last year, uh, recently over Michigan, they still gave Georgia the best game of the year by far. I mean, by far, they gave Georgia the best game of the year. Yeah, I mean, they should have won the game. They 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 should have won the game. So I don't know what Michigan is doing trying to overlook uh, Ohio State or even anybody in the Big Ten. Penn State is not to be trifled with this year. Let me – okay, and then from that point, talk about giving ammo to Bama, to Ohio State, to Penn State. The You know, Bama for the longest time, for pretty much our entire lives, has been considered the class of college football. You know, y- you want to be the best, you got to beat Bama because they've been the best. Bama is now, you know, just – feeding on that that rat that rat cheese poison yeah, yeah. where it's like you are nobody Nick Saban is gonna have this in locker rooms all summer long into the into the fall about how it's beat Georgia it's no longer beat Bama and Ryan Day and James Franklin should ha- do should the, do the should do the absolute same thing and and though I believe uh Jim Harbaugh is the best coach coming out in the Big Ten today uh you don't want to give programs who are still powerhouses, and Penn State's got a hell of a roster this year, more ammo. I mean, it's yeah. it's crazy. I, I, don't I don't know why they would do this. I don't know. I mean, to me, it would still be beat Ohio State because you beat yeah. Ohio State, you had a fantastic season, and you never know who you're going to play. I mean, beat Georgia, you don't even know if Georgia's going to be there, and now you're just giving ammo to your rivals. They're, they're focused. And listen, I also think you're getting ahead of yourself, like just in general. Like, <laughs> like you have a whole Big Ten. And listen, I don't think the Big Ten's great. It's definitely not the SEC, but you got enough teams in there to make to make you worry, and then you got to win a Big Ten championship on top of that. So I, I think you're getting just so far ahead of it. Maybe win the Big Ten. Like, it just like there's so many things like to even before even getting to Georgia and you might not even play Georgia. Like what about your what about your semifinal opponent? You maybe you don't play Georgia in the semifinals. Maybe you're the two seed and you play another team like TCU. You don't think they're going to use that as motivation too? like it's all just like you're getting so far ahead of yourself. And for something that may not even happen, like I get you're trying to say be the best, but I just think I just think it's very stupid. And you're giving ammo to your rivals and talking about this bulletin board material like I like my 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 roommate, my, my one of my best friends was a walk on at Alabama. And if you don't think that these teams are using this, I, I was there. He was there when Alabama was at its peak. So the bulletin board material was mostly like made up, right? Everyone knew Alabama was going to be there. They still like going into like, this is the family lunch. This is, this is the locker room. I'm not getting given us. This is like the, like where the family and friends eat lunch, like with the players, like a day before the game and after the game. They played Washington, right? Washington didn't even deserve to be on the same field as them, especially at peak Alabama. 
on the bulletin boards, it's all like John Ross is faster. No one's going to be able to catch him. Like all these things and like so many different things that were so even made up. No one was saying John Ross was going to burn the Alabama defense. They were just made up. Now they don't need to make things up. Now they don't need to. And, and, and this goes, and I'm sure it's the same way at every other program, whether it's Ohio State, they have all this stuff up, whether it's true or whether it's not, or whether just one person said it, that's an idiot. They are going to use it and they are going to use it as motivation. And now you're just giving them free ammo. Now you're just giving them free ammo for something that you don't even know is going to happen. Like Georgia is like, they're a great team. They're a great program. I expect them to be in the playoffs. Like if I had to bet, like I would still bet them to be the favorites and I expect them to make the playoffs. But you don't even know that they're they're losing a lot. They're, they got a new quarterback that I, I like Carson Beck. We still don't know if he's going to be as good as Stetson Bennett. Like there's so many question marks surrounding that team, and you're just so far ahead of yourself. Where it's like, man, why don't like honestly, why don't you just have beat your week one opponent? Like I don't like like let's just like I just don't see the reason. In my opinion, like good college football teams focus on their week one opponent like all summer, even if it's UT Martin. Like you know, like. Hey, let's beat that team. Let's beat this team. Like, let's focus on what's ahead of let's let's if we're really the best, let's just get better every week and try to look better. Like Nick Saban isn't saying let's beat Georgia. He's saying let's beat ourselves from the week before. Let's be better than we were the week before. And that to me is like, if you're the pinnacle, you shouldn't be looking at anybody else. You should be like, I want to play the best. Let's beat Georgia by 50 when you get to that point, because that's what we believe. But right now, let's beat UT. Let's beat whoever. I don't know who's first on their schedule, but it just seems on like and, I, and Jim Harbaugh's a quirky guy and listen he's gotten them over the top and clearly he's a great coach this is just something maybe I, I wouldn't be doing this would not be my coaching method oh and I don't think we can bash Jim Harbaugh the guy hasn't won anything a couple of Big Ten titles and playoffs first does not you know impress me that's not you know we were just talking about it in the last segment uh if you missed any of it it'll all be on YouTube Sports Talk ATL uh, on the website, sportstalkatl.com, on all social media, Sports Talk ATL. Um, you know, it's championship or bust. I don't care about a Big Ten title. Uh, you know, and that, that's the Michigan. difference between I mean, the story championship. Program. I know they haven't been yeah. there in a while, but. Listen, that, that that's, that's stuff that champions don't do. And I'm not going to say that Kirby Smart or Nick Saban or all of these teams – are, you know, not doing what we're talking about and, you know, putting things on the bulletin board saying, you know, you're washed, Georgia's not going to three-peat, uh, Bama's done, Saban's uh, over, uh, you know, Brian Kelly can't win in the SEC. I'm not saying they're not using that kind of stuff as motivation, but they certainly aren't going, LSU's got, we're beating Ohio State. You know, we're beating Georgia on the locker yeah. room. Or Georgia doesn't well, say, you know, a, beat Bama. That's, that's not what they're, that's, like that's not they what they're the suggesting. Hump. Before that's Alabama, suggesting. before they had gotten over the hump, right? Kirby Smart and Georgia got over the hump, beat Bama. Yeah. Like there, you, there was no, I guarantee you, there was no like thing coming into the locker room that said beat Bama and before the season even started. There was no that was that's not that's not the approach that they use. I, I it, it's almost mind boggling, especially since they're not even in your conference. You don't even know they're going to play them. That's the craziest part to me is at least Georgia would have some semblance of like, yeah, we're going to meet them in Atlanta or LSU. You know, Brian Kelly came to the SEC because it's the easiest place to get a playoff berth and win a championship, though it's the toughest road. It's the widest road. You know, there's the greatest margin of error is in the SEC. It's not even a question. Uh, so I get Brian Kelly being like, I came here to beat Bama. I came here to win championships. That's what he says. Jim Harbaugh's in the, they're in the Big Ten and talking about any of the three teams can come out of the SEC, Bama, LSU, Georgia. And I, I it's crazy that he's even overlooking his own conference. P Penn State and Ohio State, like I said, it's they are not to be trifled with. Those are good teams that can make the playoffs. And Jim Harbaugh's just readily saying, oh, we don't even care about you. We're looking so far ahead. We're looking to the playoffs. And it's crazy. It, yeah. It's so uncalculated for a guy who's running one of the biggest programs in the country. It's kind of like, uh, it's a little unbelievable or they're I mean, that confident. I, like, I mean, that's... I think Ohio state's coming out of the big 10. Like there's yeah. like, if I had to pick, you could one, have like, an I, argument Ohio, for any, any of those three, Ohio state's going to have a great team this year. They're going to, yeah. they're going to have a very, very good team last year. They're going to be hungry after what happened. And they're going to be even hungrier after this. Like they lost yeah. Georgia in a heartbreaker. They lost to Michigan last year. And now they got this free ammo. It just, Ohio state's winning the big 10 in my opinion. Coming up after the break, we're going to talk about the freak that is Shohei Otani. <laughs> 